right, y'all, back at you for another episode of Planet Pirates! Yeah, that's right. I'm your Captain Edward Teaching. This is my vessel, the Queen Anne's Revenge. Red. And we're going to be sailing the high seas today looking for what? Free, free plants. plants! That's right. And how are we going to get them? Landscape debris fire. That's, that's right, guys. Today is uh, landscape debris pickup day in our community. So we're going to sail around looking for free plants in people's landscape debris piles. But yeah. we got to get going because somebody else is on the hunt, too. Who is it? The British. The British Royal Navy, a.k.a. the Waste Management Landscape Debris Trucks. They come along and crush up all of our plants if we don't get going. So we're going to head out here, guys. We're actually, um, this is the earliest we've ever gotten started. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, but we're going to take the kids fossil hunting today on the Peace River. So we have our other pirate ships loaded up here for uh, the second treasure hunt of the day, but we're gonna get going with the first treasure hunt, right guys? Yeah. All right, so we'll get back with you if we get something good. Oh. All right, y'all, we just rolled up on some plumeria. It looks like it maybe is a pink variety. Yeah, Teddy's, the pink and yellow, I Yeah, think. Teddy's got some with some flowers on it. Nice. I'm so excited. Now we'll grab another piece or two and get back with you. All right, y'all, we just rolled up on, looks like some pothos. Get that little stuff, yeah. Yeah, Teddy's gonna grab some of it up here. All right, looks like we just rolled up on some more bromeliads. Oh, those have some stripes on them or something. Nice. Yeah, we're grabbing those up for sure. All right, we got a couple white ibises here and then one ugly duckling right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because it's younger. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. Poor either. guy. He doesn't look like all the other ones. He doesn't seem to care, though. And they don't seem to care. Yeah. They're accepting him. All right. Looks like we rolled up on some shell ginger. Some of it still has flowers. Oh, those are some nice cuttings. Yeah. All right. Excellent. We're definitely going to grab some of that up. All right. We just rolled up on something. Looks like some bromeliads. Yeah. All right. We're grabbing those up for sure. All right, y'all. Back at you. So we had a pretty good day the other day, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, so we, um, if you remember at the beginning of the episode, I told, I showed you guys we were going to go fossil hunting after we went uh, to do our Plant Pirates episode, but um, which we did. We got a bunch of good plants. Uh, we'll show them to you in just a second. We went fossil hunting all day long, got back late that night. Um, and then the next morning we found this little dog sleeping on the couch over here when we woke up. Um, and we've been trying to find the owners, but we can't. And the kids think that they're going to keep her, huh? Uh, 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 she's, a, she's a little demon dog. Yes. When we <laughs> tried to take a bone from her, she just grabbed it yeah. and tried to bite our little thing, our fingers off. Yeah, and, and when we tried to introduce her to our big dog, she violently attacked it. <laughs> And our, our big dog did nothing. Yeah, our big dog is a 60-something pound pit bull, and uh, this little dog just violently attacked her. So, and Rose is terrified yeah, of this so I don't dog. know what we're going to do about that. But anyways, now we have the dog and a bunch of new plants. So let's show everybody the plants, at so least. So this is our free dog that we got Yeah, this our week. free dog. Free, guys. Okay. Every dog that we've ever gotten has been off the side of the road. And, yeah. there, and, and I always dogs. hear that it's a free dog. And uh, do we have a... You can't see our, our pit bull. She was... A free dog that's cost us thousands of dollars now. She had heartworm. But I love her so much. She's, so. she's the best, especially oh. after having this little dog okay. in the house. Man. All right, Deep back place. to the plants. All right. Oh, this is a nice one. Now, I'd like, like to say that we have this variety, but I don't know if we do. I don't know. It's so vibrant. It's not the, it's not the, the red uh, sister. sister. Don't put your face in here. But it is in the uh, So beautiful. And these are some real nice cuttings, too. So... Okay, next. Is that it? We just got those two cuttings? Yeah. Bummer. Yeah. Okay. They're nice though. Alright, this, we got some shell ginger here. Um, hold on, let me let me show them the flower here, Ted. It's uh, right here so you can see this one just flowered. That's probably why they cut it, because um, they had a lot of this stuff. But we've had luck. Have we had luck with this one from with cuttings? shell ginger we have, yeah. Okay. Not some of the variegated. gingers we haven't Not had luck with. Not variegated yeah. shell ginger. Um, I, yeah. I'm surprised at some of the ones we haven't had luck with, and but we have had we luck. Getting little variegateds popping up. So the what? Work. The variegated ginger. We planted from cuttings. Yeah. yeah. So um, 
I don't know. We haven't had luck with all of them, but we have had luck with the shell ginger. Say 50 /50. Yeah, we didn't have luck with this uh, variegated one over here. That's you can see there. We we've tried several times and haven't been able to propagate that from cuttings. So, all right, what you got here? Quarter uh, dracaena. Nice. Look at that. Wow, they're beautiful. Some more beautiful cuttings here. And so you'll see. I already ripped some of these off, but we'll rip a, a bunch of these off and then just stick it stick it right in the ground. Man, they're beautiful. Look at the leaves. We already have that variety. But. Yes, what's the marginata? Yeah, I think this is it right here. This one is just in full sun and different. Yeah, got a little different. Um, yeah, because the one by our front door is okay. Yeah. I like oh. the pink. I like them when they're pink. All right, what else we got? Oh, we got this. I, I don't think um, I got this on camera when we found this. We were zooming down the road and we just grabbed it real quick. But uh, we think this is a Norfolk pine. Um, uh, just a real toasty one. They sell these at Home Depot um, and Lowe's. Yeah, around Christmas. It's like little Christmas trees, but yeah. you can Some see. Some of them even have glitter in them. Yeah, you can see, guys. Though these these get to be giant. I'm gonna back up here and show you my neighbors. This is my neighbors two doors down. You see these pointy, uh, what look like pine trees in the background. There, those are Norfolk pines. Um, and they're some of the tallest trees on our island, right? Yeah, those in the Casarina trees yeah. are the tallest things. Yeah, so they'll get massive. We'll actually plant this in our yard, but we're not gonna let it get that big. We'll let it get um, to be a little bit taller than the basketball goal and then cut it down probably. Uh -huh. um, they're just, really fluffy and pretty when they, they're young like that. They're beautiful. That. Yeah. Okay. And they grow fast too. In they fact, do. we have one that we bought for Christmas or we got from somewhere. I don't know where uh -huh. we got that one from, but anyways, it's still in the pot in the backyard and it's twice as big as it was in December. So, yeah. and I figure once it gets that size, we should get it so we can bring it into like our pool area for Christmas or something so we can yeah. have like a big, pretty tree. Yeah, I guess we should cut it down as a Christmas tree. As and a then, Christmas tree one and then yeah. get another one. All right, what yeah. you got, kiddo? Pothos. A pile of pothos here, and there's probably some other vines mixed in here. Looks like maybe sweet potato in there, or is it all pothos? I can't really tell. I, can't tell. I think this it's looks, all pothos. This looks like something else. Yeah, this looks like sweet potato. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we got a big pile of pothos. What else you got, kiddo? Can you go help him, babe? Corn palm, yeah. Um, this one, I don't think I showed this on camera because I think we thought it was a one of these bromeliads that we're about to show you. And then when Teddy plopped it in the, when he pulled it out of the can off camera, we noticed it was a corn palm. We have lots of these. This looks like we have two different varieties. We have one variety that has some like lines and like yellow lines on it. And this one's kind of all green. Unless it's the same variety and it has to do with sun. I'm not sure exactly, but oh, we got more pothos there. And we've got plumeria. Yeah, we got to show them this plumeria. That's the prettiest. Look at this. It's we actually already have this variety, but this is I don't think so, so gorgeous. Yeah, we do. I'll show it to you. We have it in the back by the dog pen. We have it over by the fence there too, but uh, this one is just so gorgeous. This one deserves like in our courtyard. Yeah, yeah. And so one thing about um, plumeria is that we find it all the time, mm -hmm. uh, every time we go out. But if you don't get a flower on it, or if you can't spot which plant it came off of on someone's yard, you never know what color it is, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a big commitment to plant this because it needs full sun and a lot of room and stuff. And, and then it turns out to be yellow. Yeah, it turns out to be a color you already have or that you didn't want or whatever, but um, this one is just beautiful and uh, nice, healthy cutting. So we yeah. had to we had to take that one. Yeah, you know? for sure. What else you got? So this is a vermilion Reese, keep a, Reese you got to keep a hand on her. She'll take off like a hyena or like a... <laughs> Like a low, I she don't does know. Look like a little hyena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's a <laughs> now, these are scary just... dog, guys. She's real Hi, sweet, but man. Don't give her right. Oh, okay. Look at this. That's the regular. Then look, oh, at, that. Yeah, look at that. Man, we don't have ones. it. I don't think we have this one. It's beautiful. No, we do. We got. It was like a little hitchhiker that we found. It's it's over there. We got oh, okay. One. Oh yeah, right. my vermilion. We just have one though. These. Uh, you can see, guys, these vermilions actually look pretty great, pretty healthy. But um, even if they didn't, what we're grabbing them for is is this right here. Um, you can take a vermilion, almost any vermilion that that uh, looks like it's about to or looks like it's dead, and it'll if you plant it, you almost always get a little puff off of it. So, oh yeah, look at that. But these won't skip a beat. These look great for planting. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, these do. Yeah. Sometimes they're all yeah. shredded. Looking. Oh look, this one's got a like little, these. This one's got a little pup on it too. Now, mm -hmm. now I want we want to warn you guys. These pups, you know, they grow close to these mother plants and stuff. And I think it's for a reason. Um, the bunnies and critters like to eat them uh, a lot. When they're and, tender. And yeah. Little. So and so we've separated some before and tried to plant them uh, when they're that little. And it's not that they won't take. It's that the critters keep getting them. So uh, we. You know, I recommend that you let them get a little bigger or that you maybe put them in a pot for a while and let them get bigger in the pot in a safe place. Um, but that's just our experience. Oh, so. Sweet. Look at this haul. Yeah. Get them all in the ground. Yeah. It's great. All except for the little demon dog right here. <laughs> She's not a demon dog. I know, I know. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, if you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we showed you here today, just post down below. Till next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.